Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Uh, <clears throat> breaking in here on the shooting in Dayton, Ohio. Pray for me. I'm not. Got, I got a very sore throat. Of course, the ear infection is getting worse again. Uh, I am seeing a specialist this week, but uh, nine nine people were killed again last night uh, in Dayton, Ohio. A gunman at a bar opened fire killing nine people and injuring 26 again another shooting a mass shooting uh horrible uh, officers killed the lone suspect after he fired for less than a minute but that was just enough time with from a 22 3 uh high capacity gun he had additional magazines with him and according to the mayor nan whaley the 223 caliber is used in rifles like the AR-15, assault rifle used in uh, previous mass shootings, as we've seen. But Deb Decker, a public information officer from Montgomery County, said the shooter used an assault rifle. It doesn't really matter which what he used. It's why he did it is what worries everyone. And uh, a lot of people have, a, have uh, high-powered rifles. They don't go around killing people. What we're dealing with here is something way darker. We're dealing with something very demonic, and it's been going on. We have a lot of mental illness. We've got a lot of issues, but certainly there's something very dark, very demonic going on in this nation, and uh, it's, it's, it's terrible. So nine people are dead. 26 are wounded in a horrific situation in Dayton, Ohio last night after the shooting in, in El Paso Walmart where we've seen... 20 killed and 26 wounded in a very short period of time as well. I do not know the shooter's name. He has been shot and killed by officers in less than a minute. Uh, I'm still working on trying to get the name of the uh, shooter. We know the name of the bar was called uh, Ned Peppers. Um, and uh, it's a very sad situation there where prayers are going out to everybody in Dayton to everybody uh, in that area, I uh, want to just say we love all you people. and I mean, we just love you folks in Dayton. I've been to Dayton, Ohio many, many times. And just uh, just wonderful people. And so this is another community, just like El Paso, Texas. Beautiful communities that don't deserve to have this type of horrific events taking place. Folks, we're running out of time. This is what it said it would be like in the days of Noah. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to tell you, the Bible told us in the book of uh, Genesis that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Violence is a part of that. The earth was filled with violence in Noah's day. And it seems as if we're living in the same era again. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He is coming soon. I'm going to uh, do some resting today and try to get prepared for tonight's live broadcast at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on all the current world events that are going on around the world. God bless all of you. Are you serious? This is the end of time.